Hi! Today we are going to learn how to block site access to certain user roles or to guest users only. Site access restriction is a WordPress plugin that allows you to create a membership and content restriction solution. The content restriction is based on user WordPress roles and if they are logged in or not. Choose which post type, category or even specific page should be locked and to whom. Let's start with the general setting up the plugin and then consider content restriction methods step by step. Navigate to CM Site Access Restriction Pro – Settings. Head to the General tab. The first thing to set up after installation are the pages that users will be redirected to when trying to access restricted content. There are two types of access restriction, so here are two options that define these two types. Access Denied Page URL – the page where the user will be restricted if he tries to access the page which is restricted. You can create your own access denied page and use its slug or URL in the access denied page URL field. Login page URL – the page where the user will be restricted if he is not logged in and tries to access the page which is restricted. If the user logged in but his user role is not allowed to access the page, he will be redirected to the page defined in the previous option. Access denied due to time restrictions. You can select the page where the user will be redirected after they try to visit a restricted page outside of an approved time. Approved time is defined on the next tab of the settings. The same as in the previous case, you can create the page for it, where the user can see the information that the access is temporarily denied for some period of time. Restrict dashboard access. Dashboard access can be restricted to users of certain roles only or users with a specific capability. Administrator users have full access. Restriction type – choose how much of the content is restricted. Restrict full content – restrict all content on the page. Restrict partially content – showing some percentage of the content with the fade effect and the message that is configurable in the labels section. The percentage is defined lower in the option Restrict partially content percentage. Restrict content with short code only. Show all content except those parts that are restricted by the access shortcode. The setting restriction type can be overridden for every post type in the next tab Post Types and it can also be overridden for every specific post or page in the meta box. Enable restriction with custom filter. Turn on this option if you want to restrict access with custom filter called CMSAR single content in your theme. Exclude homepage displays with your latest posts. If you use the latest posts as the homepage, you can make the homepage an exception, so choose yes to exclude the homepage from restricting. Display restriction label on archive page. Archive pages are those that list items, such as your blog posts. To identify restricted posts, select yes. Now we can go to the next tab – Post types. In this section you can restrict all posts which belong to a custom post type, as well as restrict access to the general pages and posts. For our use case we need here just a few options. Allow only anonymous access. If chosen, then only guest users will be allowed to view the content. Access restricted by role. If chosen, you can specify which user roles can access the content. Let's choose this option now and define needed user roles. Restriction type. Choose the view of the message that the user will see when he tries to get access to the restricted page. Global settings. This is a default value. You can change it in the general tab of settings. Restrict full content. The user will not see any content. Restrict partially content. The user will see only defined percentage of the content. Restrict content with short code only. Works the same as an option in global plugin settings. Next tab is labels. Here you can find a few options where you can translate or customize the messages that users see when their access has been denied. You can customize the following messages. Access denied text, access denied with fade text, and access denied text for archive page. At the end of configuring the settings, click the button Save to save the changes. Let's see how it works on the front end. You can control access to specific pages or posts using a meta box located in each page or post once editing the post. You can edit the post or pages in two ways. 
open the list with posts for example and click the button Edit by hovering on the needed post. Another way can be useful when some plugins create fly pages, which are only represented by permalink. In such case you can use the admin bar edit option to define content restriction. In both cases you can find the metabox site access restriction. It looks the same as in plugin settings and it works the same. The difference is, in settings you define global settings for all posts of chosen type and in Metabox you can configure access restriction for specific post that overrides global settings. And here you can also choose the option follow global options for this post type. You can also restrict part of the content using the shortcode access. The shortcode needs some extra information about who should have access to the content. To define who gets restricted, you can include parameters to the shortcode. We will need the following parameters. Role. Choose the user role that you want to show the content to. Only accepts one value. Guests. Show the content only for guest users. Login. Show the content only for logged in users. Denied text. Text which will be displayed for users that are not allowed to see the content. For example, we want to show the content only for guest users. The logged in users will see the message This is the guest area. The shortcode will look like this. Don't forget to click the button Update to save the changes. Let's see how it works on the front end. The plugin also supports restriction access to specific URLs on your site. This is very useful when you want to prevent access to specific section of plugins which use get parameters or you want to define only specific pages or post. To add URL filter, navigate to CM Site Access Restriction Pro URL Filters. Click the button Add New Filter. There you can see the field where you can put needed URL. You need to enter the exact URL address you want to match without the hostname part, like you can see on the screen. The access restriction settings for URLs are the same as in the previous cases and they override global settings. You can add as many URLs for restricting as you need using the button Add new filter and don't forget to click the button Save filters. You can also remove not needed filters using the button Delete. You can also prevent access to specific section of plugins which use get parameters. For instance, you can restrict access to the URL which looks like in the example on the screen. Following instructions found in the plugin and guys, you should be able to restrict the access to your site and your content by chosen role. Thanks for watching the video.